Practice what you preach. That's what every politician is telling Arvind Kejriwal tonight. I don't know if that's being a little unfair on him, but we got the debate organized tonight. Kumar Ketkar and Vinod Sharma are on one side tonight. And Shazia Ilmi and Chandra Mohan, who's a, a convener of the India Against Corruption in Chennai. Shazia Ilmi, prominent face of IAC. Vinod Sharma and Kumar Ketkar. Thank you very much. Do you think it's a case of practice what you preach? What do you think? Uh, is, is, is there too much hype about but why Arvind Kejriwal didn't cast his Frankly, vote? I was not surprised because Kejriwal has always been saying and behaving as if he's holier than thou approach and he's more democrat than the rest of democrats and I think uh, that approach has been exposed completely. So I'm not surprised one day it would have been exposed anyway. These people who pre preach democracy have actually no faith in democracy and that was proved during Anna movement itself. But I think media as well as many people realize that much later that their faith in democracy itself is suspect. He wasn't interested in casting his vote. Why? Why, why was he not interested in casting his vote, Shazia? It's always very amusing to hear the critique uh, and the rationale offered by Mr. Ketkar. He never has anything constructive to say about the movement at all. As for Arvind Kejriwal not having, uh, not wanting to cast his vote, I don't think that's true at all. I think there was there was indeed a lapse, and I think he recognized it and went back to rectify. No, no, why he had to be reminded by the media? We were, we were, no, Shazia, let me tell you what happened. No, no, he was not let, reminded by the media. No, no he Can was I reminded you, by I, the media. I know exactly what happened because I was on the phone with Arvind from seven in the morning, and Arvind was scrambling to talk to Goa uh, IAC people. So I know the exact story, and media had not even picked it up. I was in fact on a on a channel from seven in the morning to eleven till eleven o'clock. For, for you people, there were panelists. No, no, it's not uh, true. On, on, no, no, no. Wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. Let's so, get the facts uh, so, right. So you I, have to get the facts right. I, I'm not. Let's get the facts Arnab, right. Arnab, Arnab. The Arnab polling started at seven o'clock. There were media persons. No, yes. what's, what happened yes. was, Poli had the media not picked up the story, he would have not. When the media picked up the story, then he came back to cast his vote, and then he said, "My name is on, not on the list." He, he came back to cast Arnab, his Arnab, vote only because of media reports. So the question is, if the media is not looking at you, you won't vote. One minute. If the media is looking at you, then you will vote. And when the, when the channel asked, when the channel asked Mr. Kejriwal why he was not casting his vote, he said there was a long line at the polling booth and I'll get delayed at the airport. Now you see, they, why is yes, this, so why is this being said about Arvind Kejriwal? Because Arvind Kejriwal has been at the absolute forefront of telling people, vote, right to reject, cast Absolutely. your vote, exercise your franchise, come out and re reject the system. Now why... You know, when he has an opportunity to, why is he deterred by a long line? That's not too no, much I trouble. Think, I, I don't think that's... See, if he, if he, if he gave that statement, that was at 7.30 in the morning. So, yeah. obviously, he was reminded by media and that made, did not make him come back because he actually came back only at around 11 o'clock after he spoke to the organizers in Goa and then he realized that he, this is indeed a huge, huge oversight. And if he realized his mistake and admitted no, to the same and right. conceded, I think it's fair enough. No, you are I supposed to practice to, what to you preach, that's all. Doubt. No, you're and supposed to practice flat. what you preach. That's that's all. Yeah, well, let's get Vinod Sharma. Well, Vinod Sharma. Vinod Sharma. What do you think? Is too much being made out of this? Is this being used as an opportunity to target Arnab, Arvind Kejriwal? Arnab, first of all, first of all, let me let me compliment you and Shazia. You for, you know, when I was just watching the clips, I was reminded of your Kolkata debate, <laughs> and you played the clip. So thank you so much. Uh, it, it adds a lot of perspective to uh, this program. And Shazia, because Shazia is being a team's person. And she's defending the indefensible because she's a team's person. The fact remains that Mr. Kejriwal has been saying one thing and doing another. And I wonder whether we must now all reflect whether it is worth the while to spend a 40-hour program on one man's forgetfulness his, uh, uh, his uh, inability to be in line with what he tells the people. I frankly, I tell you, you know, that his, his diatribe against the politicians, you know, they are media persons who can be exposed to this kind of appropriate. There are people in the scientific community who, who, are, who, who can be subjected to a lot of uh, scrutiny. There are people in the civil society who need to be accountable. You know, what are we talking about? You know, for him to say, that the parliament which is elected is full of rapists, is full of looters, is full of dacoits, is full of people who know nothing about the country, want to do nothing about the country. I mean, I do not know. I mean, he is the Parveen Togadi of the civil society, if I may, if I may use the expression. I mean, he talks like Parveen Togadi all the while. 
and I have heard Pravin Togadia abusing Mahatma Gandhi in the 2002 Gujarat campaign. And this is what this man does, being a Gandhian, being a follower of Anna Hazare. It's about time Anna Hazare called him <coughs> and upbraided him and asked him to mend his ways. Okay, we're getting he some responses. We're getting some responses. To people like Shazia Elmi. It was, uh... He's bringing dispute to Mr. Anna Hazare. Wait. He's bringing dispute to the entire civil society. You see, you... This man needs to be banished you... from What's the media it? glare. Once, Mr. Chandra Mohan, I want, you, I want your take, I want your response before I open up the debate. I'd like to remind you, on January 20th, Arvind Kejriwal said, if the discourse in the coming election is change and people vote for change. Shazia, remember these words tonight. They come back to haunt everyone, including Arvind Kejriwal. He said, if the discourse in the coming election is changed and people vote for change, that is participatory democracy and we will consider it our victory. Now tonight, I'm sorry to say, when a channel has to catch Arvind Kejriwal and take him to the polling booth, those sound like really hollow words. Then he should say, sorry, I decided not to vote. I'm taking the flight to Goa. I stay with that. I'm not going to try and come back to vote to please the channel. Let's get Ch Chandra Mohan in. Chandra Mohan, what do you think? Are you disappointed? See, one of the, one of the beautiful things about India Against Corruption movement, you know, um, is the fact that we are our best critics. If we make a mistake, we don't let it go. In the meeting, not just being in the core committee, any state local chapters, if there is a mistake, we are our best critic. If Arvind Kejriwal did not cast his vote, it is wrong. Okay? We preach people saying you have to go and vote and it is our responsibility to go and vote. If Arvind didn't vote, <coughs> yes, it is wrong. We will not duck away from our responsibility, but he did come back and he said, I felt guilty, so I came back and wanted to vote. See, this is the metal of this man. Name one politician who makes a mistake, he realizes a mistake, comes back and says, yes, I made a mistake no, and I'm going to rectify it. Name one media. politician. He but came Arvind back Kedri because of the media. That. He, came, he back. came back because of the media. No, you can say he came back because of the media, but no. He, he came back because of the media. And you realize there would be a story that he had not talked about media. He came back because of the media. I've been talking to him. I can, Arnab, I can... Arnab, it's not because of the media. I've been exchanging with Arvind. He was scrambling really for, and he was really looking around to make some changes in the Goa program. Our core committee member Dinesh Vagela, he was you actually taking say, permission from him and there were more than 1,000 students. So there is something there. It was not no, because it's of not media because media actually met up with him at 7.30. So he knew media was kind of tracking his movement. So, so when, when a channel so asked was, him, if it was that, when a channel asked him why he was not voting, he said there's a long line at the polling booth. I mean, you know, all of this is okay, Shazia, if the person doesn't preach. <laughs> if the person preaches then it becomes a problem. I mean, I know 55% of no, Mumbai did not vote, but the rest of the 55% don't go around preaching about participatory democracy. And if you have to be caught and almost forced to go to the polling booth. Sure, sure. But I, but I think what example are you realized setting? that this was a no, huge oversight and he came back. No, and there's no excuse. No, and he could have ensured whether his name is there on the list or not if he is such a practitioner of uh, democratic uh, politics. He says his name was not on the list. He should have known that before. If your politicians had challenged. been truthful and honest, then you wouldn't have to spend the rest so much time trying to, you know, make the country perfect. He would have had the chance to go and ensure whether his name is in the list or not. The politicians are doing so much of corruption, he doesn't have even a minute to take care of his family. He has to run around all over the country trying to make things right. Oh, so he so wants, first, you know, let, uh, let us not go is, into no, 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 why he and check his name whether it is in the poll. Mr. Chandramon, it is not true. Half the country's name is not in the voters list, my friend. Mr. Chandramon, it is not true that politicians do not correct themselves. Politicians do not apologize. Politicians do apologize. Politicians have apologized in the past and they are also open to correction and they do correct themselves and they always change and themselves, not only because of the pressure of the media when they realize that they have made a mistake. That is probably they have the done. biggest lie it I have not ever heard, only, my friend. It is not only the civil society which is open and ethical and uh, ready for correction. Everybody does that. Journalists also do that. The, the next round, the next round is uh, of Anna's No, we are not saying we are 100%, but no, no, millions of no, them. I haven't second. seen any no, politician who comes You have not, because you have not been reading the press also. I have been in the business of done. reporting. I have been in the business of reporting, not only in the commentary boxes. I have been in the business of reporting for the last 40 years. And I know hundreds of politicians, literally they yeah, can be quoted and counted, that they have actually said they are sorry. Well, question is simply tonight, and I'm, I'm asking you once again, Shazia. No, uh, Mr. Chandra Mohan, may I? Okay, go ahead. Your response to Mr. Chandra Mohan, go ahead. Go ahead, Vinod Sharma. May I come in? Yep. 
Go ahead, Mr. Ramon. With, with all lot of respect to you, you know, you, uh, I mean, frankly, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to bracket you with anyone. Neither am I bracketing Shazia with anyone. You know. May I tell you that this episode reminds me of Babu Jagjivan Ram having forgotten to pay his taxes. It's unfortunate, you know, and the parallel has to be drawn. And you know, each time Kumar Ketkar says something, you know, he is insinuated for various motives. Did you know Kumar Ketkar was one fellow who faced the wrath of the Shiv Sena for writing what he believed in? You see, you may have critics in the media, but that doesn't mean that we are not with your cause. We'll be with your cause more. But Mr. Keshav right also defended Shiv Sena when Shiv Sena attacked uh, Anna Hazare. Which do no, not. No, 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 so no. I think his dislike for Anna, his dislike for Anna Hazare movement no, kind of superseded his. Uh, no, I never defended Shiv Sena. I merely said that Shiv Sena. You are completely wrong. You are totally wrong. Shazia, you are very young. Uddhav Thakre and Aditya Thakre went to Anna Hazare. Kumar Ketkar has spent a lifetime in journalism. Mr. No, what's it? Mr. Ketkar, you have found Lifetime in journalism. He needn't defend himself before you. you I'm there to defend him. Mr. One second. Ketkar, one second. Think we are not. Mustn't be your age. No, no. What, do you know anything about One second. May I please come in, gentlemen? You know about his level of May I please come in? May I please come in? You know about his bravado? May I please come in? His courage? May I please come in? Please calm down, sir. Please calm down. One second, sir. Please calm down. The discussion, Shazia Elmi, is not about Kumar Ketkar. I'm sorry. But the discussion is about a man called Arvind Kejri. No, Mr. Sharma, uh, one second, Mr. Sharma answer the question. Uh, no, you, you actually want... You the objectivity of his journalism, so I was just commenting on that. Sure, so you know, there are... If you, you want to respond to that... No, I give yes, you one, one minute, please. I give you... No, 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 Vinod Sharma, let him... I have a relative objectivity of situations. One, one second, one second. Only you, one you, correction. And I think it was today, let him today I stand proved I was most objective about Kejriwal, all through. Yes, one question. Vinod Sharma, Vinod Sharma, please, you know, I know there are warm, hot tempers here tonight, but one second, please. I want to bring back some order because a point has been made against you tonight that you have, you know, you have varying standards. Your, the charge against you is that you keep changing your line. That's what Shazia said. You have a right to respond to the debate is no, not no, around you. Simple, it's around extremely simple. Respond to Uddhav Thakre and Aditya Thakre <coughs> went to Ram Lila ground to meet Anna Hazare and to defend his movement. And it was Shiv Sena who defended its movement, yeah. Anazari movement, yeah. Yeah. at that point of time. Afterwards, after Shiv three weeks, Sena. they realized that they perhaps made a mistake and they started criticizing Anna. So my only comment was Shiv Sena has realized its error. I have not defended Shiv Sena. It was Uddhav and Aditya Thakre who went to Ram Lila ground and I criticized Anna Hazare movement right at the now. start, right in the middle and right in the end. Let's draw so the discussion no back to Arvind Kejriwal. I have not changed my position on Anna Hazare's movement because according to me <coughs> it is an anti-democratic movement. Draw